up? Got a late start today. Uh, been kind of working most of the day. Started this morning, expected to vlog more stuff, but I, I just kind of got into that work mode and then it led to other things and then other things. And now it's, it's kind of late, but no worries. There's something cool going on. I'm gonna be driving down to pick up my son, Sean, and then we're going to an event tonight. It's a, uh, a private screening uh, put on by Dodge and the guys at Motor Trend of the movie Fast 8. So it's the, the Fast 8 and I get to see it for a second time. That was really good the first time. In fact, it was so good that I could have gone back into the theater and watched it for a second time. And if you're one of the eight people left on the planet that have not seen this movie, then you're gonna wanna stay tuned because uh, not only are we gonna go see the film and tell you how cool it is, which I just did, but we're also gonna hang out with some of the cars from the movie. You can actually see the real cars from the film, the Dodge Demon, the Plymouth GTX that Dom Toretto drives, badass. Uh, lots of horsepower. I mean, not like 2,000 horsepower or 3,000, but more. We're gonna show you those cars. We're gonna hang out uh, with the guys at Motor Trend and the guys from Dodge, and uh, we're just gonna have a good time. So let's just kind of go do that. Yo. <laughs> uh, the magic of Hollywood. People just appear in my car without, you know, even trying. What was your favorite Fast and Furious so far? There's been eight. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, that's so hard. My, my favorite was the one that no one really likes that much. The third one. The one that takes place in Tokyo. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I love that one. <laughs> that's Good. funny, yeah. I love that they tied it in at the end with Vin Diesel like coming in and like you just see his car and him for a second and that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was kind of the only non-Furious Furious car, Furious movie. Right, yeah. yeah. And they took back a few of the characters and like reintroduced them later on so it made it relevant. But yeah. at first it was kind of like, what happened to all the characters you like, you know? <laughs> the third one, because I love seeing Tokyo, that was kind of cool. Right, yeah. You know? I think uh, in the last one, they uh, might have been my favorite. They brought so many cool characters together. Was that the one in Mexico? Or is that the one in in uh, South America? Yeah, maybe. I'm thinking about the one where they even brought the guy back from the first one who hated Paul Walker's character. Um, it's one like... big movie! As they say in Hollywood, all is well and fine until someone gets shot in the leg. Right. And it's done. That's my car, Sean. <laughs> We're at the Motor Trend, top secret Motor Trend garage. If you guys know where this is, don't tell me about it. But behind us, uh, there's a Fast and Furious car, Fast 8. There's the Dodge Demon. Uh, car's so fast. You want to see it again? <laughs> Disappear. <laughs> I'm going to drive it around the block. Ready? Okay, you want to see it again? <laughs>
past weekend. A little bit. Might have, might have done the biggest box office uh, premiere ever. Uh, Fast and the Furious 8, Fate of the Furious. We have these two cards here. I uh, want to bring up a couple of people. Diana and Scott from FCA. We are, thank you so much for bringing the vehicles, but also for hosting us over at the Arc Light for with the tickets and popcorn. Gift cards. Gift cards. Popcorn. For, yeah, what do you like? Blinding got back a little bit late from last night's event, so picking it up here. Big thanks to the the guys at Dodge and uh, the ladies and gentlemen of Motor Trend Magazine for putting this event on. Very cool. It's always fun to go see a movie premiere and to see it with people that really love that type of stuff. You may go to the movies uh, and and see it with the general public, but you know, when you go it with the, with professionals, you know you're talking to people and it kind of gets into the spirit of it. Very awesome. Side note. Sketch is coming along, check it out. Pretty fun. Wheels and Waves coming up May 21st. That's the next Wheels and Waves that's gonna be happening. If you're thinking about coming, stop thinking. Just commit, commit, do it, because the, the show is gonna be freaking awesome. We're closing it on summertime, so the weather is gonna be spectacular. Things are not good or bad, but thinking makes them so. Somebody really important said that, I think it was Shakespeare. You may, may have said a, a version of that. If you think your life is good, and your life is cool, then guess what? Your your life actually is. If you think your life is full of stress and uh, full of difficulty, then chances are that's what you're bringing. You, you, you bring a lot of that kind of stuff. Most people, you know, worry a lot. They worry a lot about things. And I try to fill my life uh, throughout the week with things that are gonna be fun. And this is why we want you guys to break out, to break out of that mold, because when you get stuck in the rut and you do the same old grind, the same old thing, the same old job, the same old, you know, uh, drive to work, you see the same old people, uh, things can kind of get um, not that exciting, not that interesting anymore. Even in marriages, you know, if you're, if you're not looking for unique things to spice up your marriage or to spice up your relationship, then things can kind of get into the humdrums and you can go from a really awesome color, you know, like this, to something really drab like this. And everybody needs a shot in the arm. That's, that's kind of why we go to these events and see these movies and hang out with people and keep that passion alive because uh, if if I'm not gonna do it I don't know who is and I, and I need that fix every day I need to to get out there and do something that's enjoyable and that doesn't mean you don't want to work it just means that you, the work that you do you want to be passionate about you want to be excited about you want to leap out of bed every day and get that stuff done and I'm very fortunate to be able to do that I want to show you guys how to do that I want to show you guys how to break out of those aspects of your life that aren't working for you and how to break into those aspects that are really freaking cool and that requires courage. That requires uh, a leap of faith. It requires you to, to get out and do that stuff. You know, when I call up my son, Sean, I say, hey, let's go do this thing. He never says, oh, gee, let me think. I'm not really sure if I want to do that. He just says, yes. And that's a proactive stance. You got to bring the party. You got you to get out there and you got to say, this is going to happen, people. This is the way it's going to happen. And this is the fun that we're going to have. And you got to keep your life creative. Keep your life creative and, and have a good time. So, for this week, this week that's coming up, look at things in your life. See how you can shake things up. If you keep having the same food every single day, have something completely different. If you keep, if you take one route to work, take a different route. You gotta get some perspective. Things are not as bad as they look. All right, that's it, my friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. We're trying to show you guys that you gotta do what you love and love what you do because when you do that, your life becomes a freaking, it becomes an awesome cake or brownie or something really delicious. And everybody, everybody loves something delicious.